thank you lord for this wonderful day that you have given us oh father god now we are going to read through your words you are the god who leads us who teaches us and who counsels us who guides us in the paths of righteousness as we read through your words lead us speak with us so that we may walk in the paths of righteousness and go not astray from your from you and from your ways in the name of jesus we ask amen ruth chapter 1 Now it came to pass in the days when the judges ruled that there was a famine in the land and a certain man of Bethlehem Juda went to sojourn in the country of Moab he and his wife and his two sons and the name of the man was Elimelech and the name of his wife Naomi and the name of his two sons Mahlon and Kilion Ephrathites of Bethlehem Juda and they came into the country of moab and continued there and elimelech naomi's husband died and she was left and her two sons and they took themselves wives of the women of moab the name of the one was orpha and the name of the other ruth and they dwelt there about 10 years and malon and kilion died also both of them and the women was bereft of her two sons and her husband Then she arose with her daughter-in-law that she might return from the country of Moab for she had heard in the country of Moab how the Lord had visited his people in giving them food wherefore she went forth out of the place where she was and her two daughter-in-law with her and they went on the way to return unto the land of Juda and Naomi said unto her two daughters-in-law go written each to his mother's house the lord deal kindly with you as ye have dealt with the dead and with me the lord grant you that ye may find rest each of you in the house of her husband then she kissed them and they lifted up their voice and wept and they said unto her surely we will return with thee unto thy people and naomi said turn again my daughters why will ye go with me Are there yet any more sons in my womb that they may be your husbands turn again my daughters go your way for i am too old to have an husband if i should say i have hope if i should have an husband also tonight and should also bear sons would they tarry for them till they were grown would they refrain from marrying nay my daughters for it grieveth me much for your sakes than the hand of the lord is gone out against me and they lifted up their voice and wept again and orpha kissed her mother-in-law but ruth clung to her and she said behold my sister-in-law is gone back unto her people and unto her gods return thou after thy sister-in-law and ruth said entreat me not to leave thee or to turn away from following after thee for where thou goest i will go and where thou lodgest i will lodge thy people shall be my people and thy god my god where thou diest will i die and there will i be buried the lord do so to me and more also if anything but death part thee and me when she saw that she was steadfastly determined to go with her then she ceased speaking unto her so they too went until they came to bethlehem and it came to pass when they were come to bethlehem that all the city was moved about them and they said is this naomi and she said unto them call me not naomi call me mara for the almighty hath dealt very bitterly with me i went out full and the lord hath brought me home again empty why then call ye me naomi seeing that the lord hath testified against me and the almighty hath afflicted me so now me written and ruth the moabites her daughter in law with her who returned out of the country of moab and they came to bethlehem in the beginning of barley harvest amen galatians chapter 1 paul an apostle not of men neither by man but by jesus christ and god the father who raised him from the dead and all the brethren who are with me unto the churches of galatia grace be to you and peace from god the father and from our lord jesus christ who gave himself for our sins that he might deliver us from this present evil age according to the will of god and of father 
to whom be glory for ever and ever. Amen. I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel, which is not another, but there are some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Christ. But though we, or an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. And we said before, so say I now again, if any man preach any other gospel unto you than that ye have received, let him be accursed. For do I now seek the favour of men, or of God, or do I seek to please men? For if I yet pleased men, I should not be the servant of Christ. But I make known to you, brethren, that the gospel which was preached by me is not after man. For I neither received it of man, neither was I taught it, but by the revelation of Jesus Christ. For ye have heard of my manner of life in time past, in the Jews' religion, how that beyond measure I persecuted the church of God and wasted it, and profited in the Jews' religion above many my equals in my own nation, being more exceedingly zealous of the traditions of my fathers. But when it pleased God, who separated me from my mother's womb, and called me by his grace to reveal his son in me that I might preach him among the Gentiles. Immediately I conferred not with flesh and blood, neither went I up to Jerusalem to them who were apostles before me, but I went into Arabia and returned again unto Damascus. Then, after three years, I went up to Jerusalem to see Peter and abode with him fifteen days. But other of the apostles saw I none, except James, the Lord's brother. Now the things which I write unto you, behold, before God I lie not. Afterwards I came into the regions of Syria and Cilicia, and was unknown by face unto the churches of Judea which were in Christ. But they had heard only, He who persecuted us in times past now preacheth the faith which once he destroyed. And they glorified God in me. Amen. Galatians chapter 2 Then fourteen years after, I went up again to Jerusalem with Barnabas, and took Titus with me also. And I went up by revelation, and communicated unto them that gospel which I preach among the Gentiles, but privately to them who were of reputation, lest by any means I should run, or had run, in vain. But neither Titus, who was with me, being a Greek, was compelled to be circumcised, and that because of false brethren unawares brought in, who came in secretly to spy out our liberty which we have in Christ Jesus, that they might bring us into bondage, to whom we gave place by subjection, no, not for an hour, that the truth of gospel might continue with you. But of these who seem to be somewhat, whatever they were, it maketh no matter to me, God accepteth no man's person. For they who seem to be somewhat in conference added nothing to me. But, on the contrary, when they saw that the gospel of uncircumcision was committed unto me, as the gospel of the circumcision was unto Peter, for he that wrought effectually in Peter to the apostleship of the circumcision, the same was mighty in me toward the Gentiles, and when James, Cephas, and John, who seemed to be pillars, perceived the grace that was given unto me, they gave to me and Barnabas the right hands of fellowship, that we should go unto the Gentiles, and they unto the circumcision. Only they would that we should remember the poor, the same which I also was diligent to do. But when Peter was come to Antioch, I withstood him to the face, because he was to be blamed. For before certain men came from James, he did eat with the Gentiles, but when they were come, he withdrew and separated himself, fearing them who were of the circumcision. And the other Jews dissembled in like manner with him, insomuch that Barnabas also was carried away with their hypocrisy. But when I saw that they walked not uprightly according to the truth of the gospel, I said unto Peter before them all, if thou, being a Jew, livest after the manner of Gentiles, and not as do the Jews, 
Why compellest thou the Gentiles to live as to the Jews? We who are Jews by nature and not sinners of the Gentiles, knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by the faith of Jesus Christ, even we have believed in Jesus Christ, that we might be justified by the faith of Christ, and not by the works of the law, for by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. But if, while we seek to be justified by Christ, we ourselves also are found sinners, is therefore Christ the minister of sin? God forbid. For if I build again the things which I destroyed, I make myself a transgressor. For I, through the law, am dead to the law, that I might live unto God. I am crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live, Yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. Psalms chapter 58 Do ye indeed speak righteousness, O congregation? Do ye judge uprightly, O ye sons of men? Ya, yeah, in heart ye work wickedness, ye weigh the violence of your hands in the earth. The wicked are estranged from the womb, they go astray as soon as they are born, speaking lies. Their poison is like the poison of a serpent, they are like the deaf adder that stoppeth her ear, which will not hearken to the voice of charmers, charming never so wisely. Break their teeth, O God, in the mouth, break out the great teeth of the young lions, O Lord. Let them melt away like waters which run continually. When he bendeth his bow to shoot his arrows, let them be as cut in pieces. Let a snail which melteth, let every one of them pass away, like the untimely birth of a woman, that they may not see the sun. Before your pots can feel the burning thorns, he shall take them away as with a whirlwind, both living and in his wrath. The righteous shall rejoice when he seeth the vengeance. He shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked, so that a man shall say, Verily, there is a reward for the righteous. Verily, he is a God that judgeth in the earth. Amen. Loving Heavenly Father, we praise you and we thank you, O Father God. As we read in the book of Ruth, Naomi asked her daughters-in-law to leave away from her after their husbands died. But Orpha left, but Ruth clinged unto Naomi. She never left Naomi. In the same manner, O Father God, no matter whatever comes in our life, no matter whatever happens in our life, we should never ever leave you, O Father God. We should always cling unto you. We should trust in you. We should trust in your word. We should trust in your mercies, O Father God. Help us to be with you always, O Father God. And also you have promised us that you will never leave us nor forsake us. Be with us. You should be also with us and we should be also with you, O Father God. We should abide in you, O Father God. Bless us and keep us. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. God bless you.